video. All right, hey YouTube. I, I am posting a video. Can you believe it's been so long since I posted one? Oh my, like I've really been slacking on my YouTube responsibility, but I've been working a lot on my book, trying to get it um, where I want it to be. And uh, it's just whew, taking me to a lot of different places. But anyway, I want to do a video tonight. So I wanted to post something today about um, personality, about personality and why is it that um, certain people's personalities clash and not really answering the question as to why people personality clash, but just giving some insight and some things to help you to be um, mindful of when you're dealing with other people's personalities. And one thing that we have to embrace is under, um, in order to like to be happy you know you got to get along with people that are not like you and uh that is a difficult thing to do sometimes but everybody is different and everybody is not alike and one thing that makes um that makes dealing with other people easier is ex understanding how people are and then accepting them for who they for who they are that is a true way to have um peace is when you go out every day and know that you don't have to try to change the world and change people. You just meet them where they are and you move on. Uh, that is a that is a much easier task than going out every day feel you got to take on the world and get everybody to be like you. Because for one thing, that is not going to happen. You are not going to change people. Um, they are who they are. And their personality is what makes them who they are. And... Um, your personality is like a cluster of everything that you've been through in life that has shaped your character and who you are. So it shapes how you respond to things. Um, it shapes uh, your feelings. It shapes your emotions. All of that is determined by your personality. So however old you are, if you're 30 years old, you have spent 30 years forming your personality. So it's not very likely that we are going to change who people are. But understanding um, people, why they are the way they are, makes it easier. And one of the most fascinating things that made me um, very interested in this and made me take a different look on people and how they are was when I watched the movie Frankie and Alice. And if nobody's ever seen that movie, it is very interesting. It stars Halle Berry, and she plays a woman who has a personality disorder. She has multiple personalities. And oh my God, Halle Berry did a brilliant job conveying um, how personality disorder works. Before I watched that movie, I was like, there is no way that people can have a personality disorder. Like, how can you, as one person... Uh, embody all these different personalities how like how is that possible but then I watched the movie and I don't know it was just really fascinating and then to learn that that character was based on a true character a true lady who was living with personality disorder and then after reading several books um, you begin to understand how a person's brain can become warped and the brain really controls everything right our brain controls everything. It controls our vision. It controls our sleeping. It controls our movement. It controls everything. So it is It is a machine. Your brain is like a machine and it's functioning all the time. And it's controlling everything going on in the body. And if your brain is out of whack or your brain dies or suffers, the whole, <laughs> the whole body dies. Because, I mean, you're not getting another brain, right? So it controls everything. So people's personality, their personality is entrenched in their brain. So the way they respond to things, how they act, their perception is all being controlled by their brain. And so um, that's why I tell you, it's not like that you're going to go out and just change people, okay? Because we're talking about some stuff that's controlled by their brain. And and it's and it's and it is who they who they are. So you just have to learn to um, embrace that. There is um, four main personalities: um, the people who are 
extroverts, the people who are um, have neuroticism, openness, and agreeable and conscientious. People who are agreeable and very conscientious. And I, and I have uh, friends who have the agreeable and conscientious uh, personality. And it drives me crazy because I'm not an agreeable person. Like, I'm the person, like the extrovert person, like what I believe is what I believe. And then when you encounter people who are agreeable, they go along with, what, with whatever anybody says. You know, whatever anybody says is fine with them. Drives me crazy. But um, that's their personality type. And I have learned through the years that um, it's a reason why people are that way. Everyone has a different background. Everyone has a different story. So, and that has led them to that personality trait. A very interesting thing I did, I did a, um, we took a personality test at work, all of the managers. And then I took that same personality test and did it with my staff. And it was so interesting to see people's uh, reaction when they learn about their personality type and to learn about other people's personality type and like who they're similar to and who they're not similar to and people that they're totally opposite of. That particular personality test, it equated the personality personality to birds, but it was very interesting. But I think that's something that all people can learn from is learning people's personality type because their personality predicts how they function every single day. And so one thing that we have to be aware of is that, you know, you encounter cheerful people or you encounter people who are not so cheerful. You know, they're always, um, you know, kind of in a somber mood and, you know, not much excites them. And, you know, just <laughs> they just, you know, they just don't seem that happy, you know, that's their person. <laughs> that's their personality. And to them, it's not coming off that way. But to a person who is like always bubbly and always happy and happy and open, it's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you moving in slow motion? <laughs> but it is their um uh, that's their learned behavior. So personality is simply a learned behavior. It is a coping mechanism that people have um, adapted and used to cope with um, to cope with whatever their reality is. So that's what they have done. Now, some things that you may find interesting about personality is that science and research has um, found that different personality types can affect your health differently. So um, certain personality types um, have been linked to some people living longer. It has been linked to some people having underlying disease, all based on your personality type, which is what I really wanted to talk about tonight is how something that is cognitive, cognitive, like your personality is a cognitive thing. Something that is cognitive can affect your health. And I really believe that to be true. I don't believe, even though science does support this finding, that this cognitive behavior can affect your health. I believe that's true anyway because our body is so intric uh, intertwined that it has to be that something that's going on with you mentally can filter down to your physical. So... Even though your personality is a learned behavior and it is a cognitive reaction to society and to the world, we still all have a responsibility to not let that personality become detrimental to our health or to just our social skills, period. Um, you know, at when I'm when I'm trying to hire somebody, when you know, if I have a position, I'm trying to hire somebody. I key in a lot on picking up on people personality traits because people with certain personality traits perform in a specific way. And so, as a manager or as a director, you know what you're looking for as it relates to performance, um, and personality can be an indi indicator of that so i truly believe that 
that personality that is who you are that that is who you are as a cognitive being um becomes a part of who you are as a spiritual and physical being as well so you have a responsibility to monitor your personality and monitor your behavior to see how is it affecting you on a social level how is it affecting your interactions with others how is it affecting your day-to-day -day life how is it affecting your health you have a responsibility to take those things into account you can't use the excuse which is is used by many um people say well that's just who i am that is true you that is who you are but you can also change or shape or modify who you are and become better we all have the responsibility to continue to work and to become better and something as simple as your personality is no different so going back to the movie frankie and alice it took the psychologist y'all watch that movie if you haven't it took that psychologist I don't remember exactly how long it was, but forever. It took that psychologist a long time to convince her that she had a personality disorder. She knew something was wrong and we are all in that boat. Like sometimes we know something is wrong, but we don't know what. And when someone gives you an idea of what it could be and it's not what you want it to be, you don't accept that as what it is, right? We, we all do that. We're all guilty of that. And that's how she was in that movie. She knew something was wrong because she would wake up and her house would just be in disarray. And she couldn't remember how it got that way. She couldn't remember. Because the person who did it was not present at that moment. Um, and you guys look up personality disorder if you ever get the chance. It's very fascinating how the brain works. The brain has, it, the brain can compartmentalize different personalities and they can arise without your conscious control. It's amazing. Um, so anyway, she knew something was wrong, but she couldn't put her finger on it. And so she was going to this psychologist and she was getting help, which was the, which was a good thing to do. And, you know, he was telling her, you have personality disorder. And she was like, you know, that's not real. I don't have personality disorder. And he had to film her. He had to record her and show her becoming these other people. And she was in, in complete awe. And, and, I, and I can't remember how many personalities, different personalities she had, but I think it was four. I think it was four different personalities that were living in her body. And she was completely fascinated with the depth, the depth of the personality. Like the personalities had different accents. The personalities had different IQs. Um, the, diff the personalities, they had different ages. One of the personalities living in her was a child. And um, when he showed her the video footage, she had no choice but to accept that. And then she had to learn how to live with that disorder so not saying that you have to learn how to live with a disorder but sometimes if you have um things in your personality that we all do me myself included we have things that we have to um monitor and try to control so that that it doesn't become so um you know overwhelming like my i'm a uh i'm like a overachiever <laughs> I don't know what that personality type is called, but like, I'm like constantly doing something, constantly working. And then it, like my mind is telling me it's not enough. Like, okay, you haven't done enough. You've got to do more. Like, is this all you're going to do? Like, that's what my mind is telling me. And, but like in all actuality, I look at the people around me. <laughs> I look around me at other people and it's like, everybody's moving in slow motion. I'm like, okay, well, they just... <laughs> It's funny, but it's like I have to watch that because I'm like, okay, you are over, uh, you are over uh, uh, assessing this thing here. Like, okay, take a chill pill. Like, okay, just take a day just to sleep, Donna. You know, it's gonna be okay because everyone else around you is not bothered <laughs> and they are uh, chilling 
and uh and you are uh in in overdrive here you know so it's like i really have to watch that because i am like over achieving i was like oh i yes i can do this and i can get it done by this time and then but sometimes my brain starts saying too when i get in overload my brain starts saying i don't want to do that stuff so won't you leave me alone i don't know if that's my brain or my body saying that it's one of them but it'll start like saying that to me like i really don't want to do that so um i have to try to have balance with that um with trying to achieve and do so much and then too um you know trying to push that off on other people like don't you want to do this like don't you want to achieve that don't you want to do this and the actuality is no donna everybody does not want to <laughs> Everybody does not want to do that and uh, everybody is not feeling that way so you know leave people alone so I have to remind myself of that too but uh, anyway I did I just thought that was a very interesting topic and I wanted to um, post the video on that I would love for you all to give some feedback and some comments on um you know personality and some interesting things about your personality and like what are the things that you do that get on your own nerves <laughs> you know how you say other people get on your nerves but like what are the things that you do that get on your nerves because i know i do things that get on my own nerves i just gave y'all an example but what are those things and like how do, how do you manage it what do you best do to manage it? and then how do you manage other people when their personality you know is a contrast or conflicts with your personality because we can't go through life like writing everybody off because their personality doesn't align with ours you know what makes you a master what makes you like a master at at people is when you can embrace and harmonize with people that are different and whose personality is different than yours. You know, that really um, takes you to another level level of existence when you can find, find the harmony with people. And so is there anybody out there that, you know, that's working on that, that's working on that harmonization and um, appreciating people for who they are and appreciating people for the journey that they have taken, you know, besides uh, criticizing or belittling their experience or their emotional appeal you know besides belittling that because it's different from yours you know how do you embrace that how do you um how do you embrace that person so it's very interesting you know you're never going to stop encountering people you're never going to stop dealing with people who has a different personality so i would love to hear you all's feedback you know that's my story and uh <laughs> And watch that movie, Frankie and Alice, if you get a chance. And uh, and I, I, I think you're going to really like it if you haven't seen it. And it's going to be very eye-opening to um, to the phenomenon of personality disorder. So um, anyway, drop your comments below. Like the video also. Um, I would really love to hear some comments or see some comments. So post your comments. Everybody, please subscribe to my mom's channel and share it with your friends. And please comment if you like this video and, and smash the